No. How's it going over there? I want to sleep forever. So since we're fake van lifers, we always have to have a fake wake up scene in all of our vlogs. So I just thought I'd show you guys a fake wake up scene. Allie's actually been up for hours. <laughs> so. And I already had coffee and breakfast and all that other stuff. But since we're fake van lifers, I'm going to make some coffee. So now that we've had our nice little coffee montage taken care of, we're gonna head into this apartment and we're gonna make breakfast because why not? All right, now we're inside this awesome tiny little apartment and since we're fake van lifers, we're not gonna use our little baby kitchen to cook. We're gonna cook in this big kitchen. We're gonna make pancakes. Walk us through this process. You take your flour, so many people don't know that a sifter is the most important part of baking. You gotta create some air in your baked goods, people. And what's a sifter? It's what you sift your flour in. So my entire life until I met Allie, I thought that this was called a strainer. Because when you see it, it's a screen and it looks like something you would strain pasta with. But no, it's like a little wire mesh and you sift your flour and all your other baked ingredients and it makes everything fluff up really nicely. I didn't pay attention in home ec. So for breakfast, we're gonna be making some pancakes and some eggs, and then for a little side treat or maybe a little dessert later, we're gonna make some banana bread. I'm not good at making banana bread, but these ladies are, so we're gonna see how it turns out. That's the sifting motion right there. Look at all this unsiftable garbage. We don't want that. We don't want that in there. We gotta get that out of there with a sifter. The sifting gets like all the big rocks and the gross stuff out of the flour and the salt. And then you don't get like a big chunk of salt when you bite into a pancake. Cause that's happened to me before. Pot of tea, amigo. Oh, and eggs. And eggs. Oh, you guys are the best. You don't get a utensil. Well, I, don't know. I can eat with my hands. <laughs> we have pure maple syrup straight from Canada. Super delicioso. The official maple syrup. Now that we got done making our fake van life for breakfast in our loner apartment, <laughs> we're gonna munch. So maybe we're not fake van lifers. We actually live in our vans. On the road, we are offered to have places to stay pretty much all the time. But even when we stay at our own parents' house, we sleep in the van. In fact, since we moved into the van full time, I think there's only been like three or maybe four nights that we haven't slept in our bed in the van. And a couple of those nights were when we were traveling by airplane to another country. 
We do take the opportunity to actually cook in other kitchens if people offer that up, just because our kitchen is small and sometimes it's just nice to be able to spread out while you're cooking, have a lot of counter space. Doesn't mean we can't do everything in our van, but like I said, Sometimes it's just nice to spread out. So I guess the main reason that we made this video is because we do get a lot of people that say, you guys aren't actually waking up in the van, you guys are staging this, you're staging that, and we try to be as real and authentic as possible with the camera. The camera comes along with us on pretty much every adventure that we do. Every time we wake up, it's here. This is actually our lives, and we're sharing it with you. We are here at Love the Child Orphanage in Guatemala, right outside Antigua. We're playing with the little kids, helping out with the toddlers, painting rooms, doing all kinds of things that they need help with here. So this is the room that we painted yesterday. We only did one layer and we weren't really sure how it would turn out, but I think it looks pretty good. We've got cribs and everything back in here, fully furnished. Little Joselito. Oh. Stabby. Little Jose is nine days old. <laughs> Normally they have a lot of volunteers come here that are a little younger and they, she said she'll have 18 kids in these rooms and it takes them a long time and us four knocked it out in like an hour and she was absolutely shocked well, that it was so quick. But uh, I'm shocked that it turned out so well, honestly. Yeah, it actually looks really good. So yeah. Not bad, glad guys. that uh, we could help and get some some of the tough work done, the elbow <laughs> grease. Before we dive into playtime with the kids, we need to try Kaylee's famous banana bread from this morning. First time ever. Banana First banana time bread. ever, fresh out of the oven. Oh boy. Whoo, baby. Right, right here in daddy's hands. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like homemade banana bread. <laughs> this is amazing. Cheers. Okay, now we're gonna go play with the kids. Gracias. Hola. Hola. It's awesome having our own shower in the van and we use it all the time but it's definitely a luxury that I will never pass up when someone offers us a hot shower. So, freshly washed hair, feeling crispy. How was that for you, Kaylee? I feel like all the little things that I used to love to do when I lived at home, like do face masks and paint my nails, like I feel like I never make time to do that in the van, but then when I have the space and I have a big shower and a sink, I'm more apt to do something like that. So, time to paint my nails. <laughs> Feeling super luxurious today. Yeah. So we just hopped in the car. We're heading down into Antigua. We're actually in Cheryl's car. We're going down together. It's been raining pretty nonstop. Last night it rained so hard that there was a mudslide down this main road that we're taking. So hopefully we can get down okay and it doesn't rain super bad so we can get back up okay later tonight. We're headed to a place called The Londoner and supposedly they have really good English food, which I didn't even know was a thing but we're gonna check it out. We had to make a pit stop here into the cell phone store. We've gotta get a SIM card because our Verizon phones wanna charge us $10 every day that we wanna use them after we left Mexico. For $300 a month on top of our already expensive phone bill from the States, it's just not gonna cut it. So we've gotta get a local SIM card so that we can actually use our phones to contact our families and things like that. We're still relying heavily on Wi-Fi to upload our videos, but this is gonna give us a little bit of a crutch to keep in contact. I'm back on the grid. Able to connect, send messages, phone calls. To the Londoner. So we made it to the Londoner, a super cute English pub. We're here to see some of our friends play some live music, and we're taking Cheryl out for a night in the town. She deserves a night off every once in a while. So we're gonna get some delicious traditional English food and hear some beautiful music. Perfect. In English pub fashion, you can probably barely hear us. We're having a blast.
reaction after that? Yeah. Just plays a song about a wanderer and you're getting all excited? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> we love their music. That's uh, Matt and Stacy. You guys will be seeing more of them in the future. Maybe the best part about this night is that Trent gets to drive home. Stick part? shift, baby. I don't know, because we get to see how good your driving abilities are. <laughs> With a stick. <laughs> With a stick. <laughs> driving that manual. I've never oh driven a stick before. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, we hope you guys had an awesome time coming along on our adventure today. Thank you so much for watching. In true fake van lifer style, we are going to relax with Cheryl in her apartment for a little bit and just kind of hang out. Hit the hay. Then we're actually going to go sleep in our van. <laughs> yeah. We're real van lifers. Gotcha. We love you guys. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the Nomadic Movement as well. We love you. We hope you have a good rest of the night and we'll talk to you soon, guys. See you guys on the next one. Good night.